I've set up a little demonstration here to show you how the hammers in a clavinet work. I've removed some keys from the spare key bed frame and placed them on a spare clavinet harp. This is so you can better understand hammer alignment. Let's have a closer look. Here you can see the relationship between the hammer tip, string, and hammer anvil. As you press the key, the hammer holder strikes the string and the hammer head should land squarely on the hammer anvil. If it does not, then the hammer holder is out of alignment. In this case, you can see the hammer tip hitting the adjacent string. In bad cases, the hammer tip may not strike the string at all or only partially depress the string. This usually results in odd sounding notes, off pitch notes, or loss of sustain. The first thing you want to do is remove your keybed frame, turn it over, and place the ends on blocks. You don't want to rest the keybed frame on the keys. Position the template on the keybed frame so that the rear outside ends are squarely against the back of the keybed frame. This levels the template. The next thing you want to do is center the template on all of the E hammers. Now that we've centered the E hammers, we can see what we need to align. It looks like the E hammers themselves are okay. But take a look at the B and the G. These hammers need some adjusting. What I'm going to do is take my needle nose pliers and bend these back into their proper position. Looks like the B needs to be twisted a little bit to the right. Now you can see, that's properly aligned. As for the G, it looks like it's bent a little bit too far forward. So what I'm actually going to do is remove the template and position this back a little bit. Perfect. All these hammers are now properly aligned.